Hypothetically speaking, if you were a person who managed your own media server, let's say with Plex, Zombie, you know, whatever, uh, really? Come on, this is the intro. Like I got like five seconds on the table right now. Whatever media server you might use on your own, hypothetically speaking, if you managed your own media server, it could become some sort of a hassle. You might think it's fun at first, but eventually you're gonna get lazy, probably. And your media server is just going to grow stagnant. In today's video, let's talk about a way to avoid stagnation. I'm pretty sure that's a word. No, please, bathe yourself. What's up YouTube, Jason here with my MyMedBits, and in today's video, I wanna talk about a program really a docker running inside Unraid that can help you automatically manage TV shows on your own personal media server. Everything that I'm going to be talking about today is purely hypothetical and for educational purposes only. I in no way endorse any sort of illegal activity online. I, and I do not encourage illegal activity online. Yeah, I'm bad at disclaimers, but hey, this is all just for fun. Nothing's real, it's all an illusion, just putting on a show. So take this all with a grain of salt. So with that said, the program is called Sonar. It's part of a family of ours that allows you to manage your own media collection. If you did not catch the previous video where I talked about Deluge, specifically Deluge VPN, where you can download content safely without worrying about your ISP or other people, you know, kind of getting you caught up, so to speak, I would definitely recommend checking out the previous video where I talk about that. I walk you through the setup and I even talk about NordVPN, a little bit of my history where it didn't used to work the way I wanted to, now it does, now I get good reliable speeds and connections. And now really I kind of feel comfortable pushing the NordVPN service, even though I had an affiliate link forever and paused it or whatever, now I feel comfortable pushing the service. So if you do want to set up a VPN to keep yourself safe, hypothetically speaking, of course, check out the links in the description down below. Seriously, NordVPN, it's like $3.33 a month for a two year thing. And they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you get 30 days to make sure this thing will work for you. I highly recommend it. Do not browse the internet naked. That's how you get pictures taken of yourself and used against you in the court of law. Just saying. So jumping right in, of course, you're gonna need a couple things here. One, you're gonna need Unraid if you wanna follow this Unraid tutorial. Two, you will already need Deluge VPN, and if not, you will have to go back and follow the previous video showing you how to install the Deluge VPN Docker. So step one, go into Unraid, go into the tab that says apps. If you don't have that, that means you do not have community applications plugin installed, which you should, and you gotta figure all that out yourself because I'm not gonna repeat myself. But if you have apps, click on apps and search for Sonar. That's S-O-N-A-R-R. -R. And this particular guide I'm using Benhex Sonar because it is way better than any other distribution option for Sonar. I have no reason to say that. I just felt like saying it. So moving forward, when you click install on Sonar, there are really two primary things that you have to change. Everything else is up to you. You can kind of fiddle and fart around with them if you want to, but there's two big things that you need to change here. First and foremost, you have your media, your slash media. This has to point to where your Plex or MB or Jellyfin or whatever media server you use, this has to point to that media folder directory where your TV shows are. So in my particular case, for example, it's like slash root, Plex media, TV, main, something like that. Sonar will view the slash media as a hard link going to your media folder. The next thing you want to change is your slash data. Now this is going to be your downloads folder. This is where Deluge VPN is going to be temporarily storing all of the downloads that are going to be occurring because Sonar is telling Deluge to download these things. So you want to make it the same thing that Deluge VPN is using. If not, it's just not going to work. Hey, 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 you just calm down. Hey, hey. 
side note here, I did have a dev for the R's come into my Discord and he talked a little bit about soft links, hard links, downloads, why it's a bad practice. I gotta be honest, I don't really understand fundamentally what all of that means. So I might be teaching you the bad way to do this, but uh, it's a way that works. And I have a large cache drive and don't worry about things being stored double for temporarily. And I'll cover that in another video. So once you change these two main links, go down to the bottom, click apply and allow the sonar to be installed. Yes, it might take a couple minutes or so, but trust me, it'll work. Probably, maybe, you got like a 90% chance something won't go wrong. After it's installed, it's had a chance to start, go to your main dash or Docker screen and click on Sonar and click Web UI. This is where the fun begins. You begin to start to configure and import and do all the things that allows your media server to evolve to the next highest level of existence. Automatic management. You're gonna be met with a screen where it needs to import your existing TV shows. Click on import. On the screen, it's gonna ask you to browse through the folder location on your server. Part of you is gonna to wanna to go to your, your main like mount, root, whatever your actual root path is. But remember, you told Sonar slash media is actually where the media is that you want Sonar to have access to. So slash media is actually going to be where you can import your list from. Once you select that and configure it and you'll go back to that main screen, on the bottom left, you're gonna see a slash media in blue. You're gonna click on this. Now this is going to bring up a list of all of your TV shows. You might spend a little bit of time on this screen, just gonna be honest. Depending on how your naming structure was, and I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna throw out a TV show. Let's say the 100, right? I don't know who watches that, but I'm just gonna make this up as I go along. The 100, if you were trying to sort it in your TV shows directory to where it was alphabetically and you don't have a, you know, a hundred the something in your directory, you might've tried to say 100 comma the, which is in my mind, the way to help sort things. But as you can see in this example, Sonar registered 100 comma the as something completely wrong. And if you have a lot of these in your TV show directory, you might have to go through and just make sure that they all match up, or you could potentially kind of screw up most of your TV shows if you just don't make sure they match up. So unlike the 100, I went into the search, I corrected the you know missed match data that it should be pulling, and I repeated the process for the rest of my TV shows. You should do the same. Once you're done going through this monotonous activity, go down to the bottom and you should see an option to import X amount of TV shows. It may think for a little bit and not seem like it's doing much, but if you wait just a couple seconds or minutes on the left-hand side of your screen, you will see uh, a scanning update. It'll just be quickly going through each and every movie and show and just looking at everything that you have. It might show you're missing episodes later on down the line if your naming conventions are a little off, something like that. But ultimately it is scanning and looking for any and all episodes that you have and then registering which episodes are missing off of your server. Trust me, this is, a, this is amazing. I mean, if you added something, you didn't realize a new ser a series came out, or you missed an episode, or you just added something for someone else and then you just never cared to look up or follow up with it to see if there's anything, like this is awesome. It just, it finds everything that's missing and it automatically adds it to get into your server. It's crazy. So after that's all done, in Sonar, top left, click on series, and now you should see a fancy new screen with a bunch of thumbnails showing all of the TV shows that you have on your media server. Yes, it could not be finished. You might not see some thumbnails, everything's still loading, downloading, sorting, etc. but it's a nice flashy screen that just kind of lays everything that you have out just like, let's say, Plex Media Server would do if you go to your Plex Media Server library. The difference here is that you'll have an indicator bar at the bottom. It could be green or red or whatever, and that's basically showcasing, hey, you have this TV show, but you're probably missing some episodes. For now in this screen, I wouldn't really worry about too much. What we have to do is go to the settings, and if you click on settings on 
the left hand side, you're going to see a bunch of different options. And there's really only a few just to kind of get things up and running you have to worry about. The first one at the top of the settings is the media management. And I highly recommend going in this option and selecting rename my files. You probably don't have to change anything, like just let it kind of do its thing, but renaming all your files to a more conventional naming method, getting rid of any crap that might be included in that file name is just gonna make it easier moving forward. And it's automated, so why the heck would you not do this? If you wanna stick around in here and play around, perfectly up to you. But for me, I'm moving on to profiles. Now on the profile screen, you have a bunch of different options you can select for each individual series if you want to. But if you are lazy and or just wanna get the basics set up right now, click on the profiles, Annie, or any, Annie, any, Annie, 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 Annie. Annie is basically going to be like the default go-to series ad. It's going to use this as a basis. And depending on what your TV shows requirements are for your server, you are definitely want to go in here and change a few things, right? So by default, it might be looking for 4K content, different releases, Blu-rays, etc. This is your own personal preference. So let's say you want to look for Blu-ray quality releases, or maybe you want web TV releases, or 4K, 720, whatever you want to do. You can select or deselect the ones that you want, and you can order them in your preference. So if Blu-ray is the highest quality that you want, you can move that to the top and you can kind of, you know, shuffle things around to what you feel is a better quality than the last. And this comes into play specifically if you decide that you want uh, Sonar to automatically upgrade your TV library to higher qualities if higher qualities are available through your indexers. Now, you want to be careful with this because later on, when we get to this point, if you enable upgrade automatically up to a certain point, like on the left-hand side, you can choose how far you want it to upgrade. Depending on your library and depending on what your server is doing, et cetera, et cetera, you could be setting yourself up for a whole lot of stuff going on on your server. So I would honestly recommend not enabling upgrades until you've completed collecting everything that you need, honestly. So right now we just want to use Sonar as its base functionality to, you know, get those missing episodes, automatically import them into your server. That way your media collection is more complete. And really, I went through my server and I was like, holy crap, there's been seasons released to things that I kind of sort of watched but never really looked out for, just kind of lost the management bug, I guess, and just found a bunch of stuff. So it is really useful. Now, when it comes to finding the missing stuff, this is where I'm going to have to take a detour on this video because you will have to add indexers. Now, indexers are going to be these things called torrent sites. And uh, I fiddled around a little bit adding them. And then I realized there was a better option called Prowler that allows to, you know, bring a bunch of indexers together and allows it to tie into other things like sonar and radar at the same time. So honestly, I'm not gonna really dive into adding an indexer because that's kind of a shady gray area that I really don't wanna get into, at least not in this video. So I would recommend, it's pretty self-explanatory, I would recommend going through the indexers, adding whatever indexer you wanna use. Hopefully it's completely legal indexer. And moving forward with this video, I'm just going to assume you added at least an indexer of your choosing that will allow Sonar to work. So skipping past that, let's go to your download clients. You have to connect Sonar to Deluge. This is very important or nothing will work. If you click on the download clients, you'll see a little plus symbol, add, whatever. Click on that. You should see Deluge, then you'll go in there. You'll change the IP to your local host name. You'll change possibly the port if you modified that. And then you will change the password. And your, normally the Deluge password is Deluge. If you change that, then you're gonna wanna change that here. Also, unless you specifically have set up in Deluge categories, just completely delete categories because you're gonna get an error message, not gonna work. That's more of an advanced thing. I never explored into it, but hey, if you run into an issues, just delete the categories, anything in that categories box. If you scroll down a little bit, you also see an option to remove the imported TV shows after they are completed. 
Keep in mind here, it's after they are completed and hit the seed ratio in your torrent program, Deluge. So I usually recommend if you're going to be downloading anything on the internet, be nice and at least seed it at one times. Sometimes you can't always get that because there's not a lot of demand for it. So you might have to go in there and manually delete it, but it is good practice to seed your torrents before you just like hit and run. Like that's just mean. Once you make these changes, go to the bottom, click on test. If you see a green check mark, boom, you're good to go. Click on save. Now let's head back over to your series window. It should have scanned through most of your stuff by now. I personally changed the view so I could see an entire list, see what was monitored on the left-hand side. You're gonna see a couple icons out of every uh, series that you have. You have one that has like a little scroll slash bookmark icon. That's either gonna be hollow or it's gonna be full. And then next to that, you're either gonna see a little play icon or a stop icon. What this means is one, the bookmark thing means that it's monitored. And two, the stop slash play means that that series is still ongoing and or it has stopped. And I highly recommend going through each one of these and just maybe unchecking things that you don't want to be monitored. Maybe you've curated these yourselves, you found the best quality you want, you do not want Sonar going through and deleting and upgrading and doing things and making changes to it. Like you're just completely okay with it is being as it is. So take a little bit of time, go through there, make sure everything is what you want it to be, unmonitor certain things that you don't want Sonar to mess with, and then you should be good. So right now the basic functionality of Sonar is enabled. It's communicating with Deluge. It's using indexers, even though I haven't touched base too much on that, but it's using indexers to add downloads to Deluge, managing that automatic import, and it's bringing it over to your media server. Like right now you should be in a good place. But before I end this video, I do wanna talk about Sonar having the ability to search for and add new TV shows. So let's say a brand new, absolutely free TV show comes online and it's called, you know, Bob's Pencil Sharpening Extreme or something. And you wanna go into the series, you can click on add new, you can search for that series, it'll pop up, click on it and you can click add new. This allows Sonar to know, hey, this is a new TV series that you want on your server and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Just click on monitor or save or whatever and it will automatically go out on the web, look for that series, download it and add it to your library. It's just absolutely painless. It's kind of amazing, honestly. So next video, make sure to like and subscribe. Next video, I was thinking about doing Radar. I got Radar up and running, Radar's for movies, but because of the whole indexing experience that I've had, I found that Prowler is a very powerful indexer that kind of brings everything together and allows it to work with other programs fairly flawlessly. So next video, like subscribe for this, is going to be about indexing multiple websites through another Docker container called Prowler. I highly recommend it, makes things easy, and uh, I can't wait to get that video done. So as always, guys, if you have any likes, comments, and or complaints, post them in the comment section down below or go to my Discord and post about it. I actually had a Radar, I think, a Radar dev come in, tell me a little bit about hot, hot links or hard links and soft links and how they don't work well. And I plan on following up with him to see what all I did wrong. And then I shall make a follow-up video explaining what I did wrong. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe below and have yourself a great day.